Hey there, and welcome to another update to my visual novel uh, controller that I created in Unity uh, with the help of some tutorials and a bit of my own work. I, wanna, I also want to uh, give a big thanks to uh, Scott Ewing for some of the help he gave me uh, earlier. So to begin with, I've, I've just got an empty scene here, but this is to show off the first big change of I can now activate the system, which is... Uh, going to be useful in games uh, where I need to activate the UI on command rather than just in a visual novel style. So you may see here one of the first changes is we've got a blinking cursor and that will appear to tell the player that this line is finished and they can skip. This is just me showing off all those voice acting options within this dialogue system. You might have heard past me there say that there is no voice acting in the game, uh, I can run a command in the scripts that I'm using uh, to play a specific voice line on command uh, from uh, the system here. Another thing you should be able to notice is uh, when the text was scrolling, I'm having a bit of fun with the dialogue there. You can see the text scrolls, which is uh, a big plus in my eyes, uh, determinant on what game that I want to do. Uh, I can implement a system similar to Pokemon, where the player at the beginning or in the settings can change the text scroll speed to a slow preset, a medium preset, a fast preset. Another thing, uh, the characters that I was originally creating by a class to take up Randy in this crate, for example, they've been changed into a scriptable object, which means I have uh, a bit more control over which characters I can create. Another thing, it's much easier to have a hexadecimal value for uh, all of the colours in the game. So I can change this text box to be this specific shade of green, Whereas I couldn't before because I was just using unity.color. Another thing you can see here, I've got a, I mean one, I have music, and two, another thing that's part of this is you can change the music in the game. So going by the story that happened there, you have this regular music when Randy's standing there. Then he gets teleported to space and you've got this little track going on in the background. Another small thing, don't know how uh, audible it is, there is uh, a noise that will trigger when the player clicks, sort of similar to how other games with this style of dialogue system work. So next steps for it though, because it's uh, came quite far. So I want to get a system in here for changing the specific portrait of the character and Maybe implementing like a character being sad or angry sort of expression and the way to change it for that. Because Randy right now is he's quite emotionalist here. Uh, I still want to find a pretty good uh, font to use with it, although the one that I'm using is pretty good for right now. And yeah, uh, the main thing is really just going to be getting this implemented alongside an actual other game. Because uh, currently, right now, I could implement this as like a full-on visual novel game. But anyway, that's it for this update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.